Hello, everyone. Um, so today I'm going to be presenting um, RSDAT, or Remote Sensing uh, Deployable Analysis Environment. I think the name is quite clear. We want, through this project, to develop an easily deployable environment through which you can do remote sensing analysis. Uh, the team that worked on it was basically uh, Team Atlas. Uh, most of us are here today. Um, Sarah and Ifat, uh, in collaboration with, uh, with Surf. Um, so why are that? I think uh, I don't really need to touch on this point. I think every presentation today has touched on how much data is being produced and how difficult it is getting to handle this data, to analyze it, and to use it. Um, so here I've just shown a, a, an image of the number of satellites that have been launched or will be launched by the European Space Agency on the left and by NASA on the right. And there's clearly a trend towards not just increasing number of satellites, but also the quality and the size of this data set. So nowadays we have data in the petabyte scale. Uh, they're all high resolution data sets. And while they give us a unique opportunity to exploit because there is so much information contained, actually exploiting them is not so easy because there is an issue with processing solutions. There is the issue with accessing the data, manipulating the data, and further using the data. And this is what we wanted to address at a grassroots level with the RSTAT project. So what we wanted to do was we have Two, two sides to the thing. One, we have the users who are using these data, the scientists and whatnot. And on the other side, we have the infrastructure that's, for example, being provided by SURF, which is capable of doing high performance computing. But there needs to be a bridge that makes it possible for users to use these high performance computing infrastructures. And we wanted to provide that using RSDAT by providing a middleware that's capable of of simplifying and making it easy for users and community to access these high performance uh, computing resources available and use these data sets over there and do their analysis. So RSDAT was a pilot project that was run for one year, roughly. And we've come up with some tools that can be used. So what I have here is a very nice graphic that was made by Merit. On the left side, we have the users and, and communities that generally work with geosciences data sets. On the right here in orange, we have the various um, hardware facilities that are provided by SURF. For example, we have the TCache for data storage and, and usage. We have, of course, the high performance computing infrastructure, such as the Snellius computer, the Spider, as well as the SURF research cloud. And with RSDAT, we have created what you see there in blue, which is a so-called middleware, which helps users to access the, the hardware that's provided by SURF in a, what we think is an easy and more usable way. So in, before I go really into what the tools were that were developed in RSTAT, I want to give you a very quick demo. This is, in fact, one of the projects that was done in collaboration with ITC, the phenology project, where we wanted to calculate um, the leaf spring index, so the day of first bloom, the day of first leaf, for the entirety of North America over a period of years. So this is going to be a very quick demo because it's sped up. But what we'd like to show you <laughs> is what we can do. So I'm going to maybe pause it at relevant points. So for example, so let's say now that you have this Jupyter notebook that you've run on your local system, which is capable of doing this processing. But now you want to expand that from, say, a small city or a small area to a much larger domain, such as North America, over a period of years. It's not going to be possible to use do it on your local machine. So then the scaling of it to larger cores and bigger systems is important. And what we provide here is an ability to scale your system in a very easy and simple way. So all you have here the Jupyter Notebook, which is currently running on the SNRF, SURF infrastructure. So even though the notebook is there and easily accessible for you to edit, what's being run is actually being done on the SURF infrastructure. So we are now starting to scale this up. We want to call, ask for more workers, let's say 15 workers. It's not as quick as this. Let me. <laughs> So this is sped up. It's not so quick, but you basically ask for 15 cores. The cores get allotted, and then you can do further calculations. I'm going to show you how it's done. I'm going to let this run now just to show you how, how it can work. So we're using here basically Jupyter Notebook with Dask um, using Python. And for example, we're reading a data set for the entirety of North America. And what we're showing here is a sample calculation which is being done for one year. Uh, we have also done this calculation for a period of the entire data set, which is 42 years for the entirety of North America, uh, using 15, 15 cores. And I think that took roughly five hours on, on, on the surf uh, supercomputer, I think. And there we go. And that's as simple as 
as it gets. So if you have, for example, Jupyter Notebooks, if you have existing scripts and you want to import that and use it on a more scalable platforms, for example, Snellius and Surf, that's what RSDAT can provide for you. I'm gonna go on. So what motivated RSDAT was also the different use cases. So here you see three projects that were all done by the eScience Center with collaborators from across the Dutch uh, academic scope. So we have on the left the phenology project, which I think done with, uh, with IPC. We also have the Antarctic ice shells with TU Delft, as well as the ESMVAL tool, which was presented before. And in these use cases, a few commonalities were observed. There were few issues that needed to be addressed. For example, data access. Always, this has been a big issue. How do you access large scales of data? How do you process them? There was also the issue related to scalable analysis. So you have a, a model or a tool that works locally that is capable of doing these simulations, but then how do you then scale them up? How do you apply them to larger data sets or to larger areas, for example? And finally, the third one that we observed was the concept of containerization, which basically means that you have, say, a workflow that's, that happens, uh, again, on a small thing, but you want to repeat these workflow for, say, ensembles or for multiple number of times. How can you do that in an easy way? And this is what motivated the creation of the RSDAT project, and these are some of the output that have come from the RSDAT project. So this is an open GitHub repository. You can access all of these tools there. On the top left, we have the Jupyter Dask on Slurm which basically makes it easy for anybody who wants to run uh, Jupyter Notebooks on Surf infrastructure. So we have different um, packages that, are, that work on Spider, that work on the Research Cloud, that work on Snellius. So there are, use, there are examples, there are also readmes with which you can easily start up a Jupyter Notebook on Snellius. Uh, we have on the bottom, we have the Docker to Singularity uh, package. What that helps you do is convert any Docker containers that you have into Singularity, and this Singularity can then be run in parallel on uh, Surf infrastructure, such as Snellius or, or Spider. And on the top right, we have the stack to Dcache and the Dcache FS, and this is mainly focused on data access, retrieval, storage, and usage. So Dcache is the Surf's uh, tool for storing and using data set, and with stack to Dcache, we provide an interface that's capable of taking stack data sets and storing them in Dcache and further reading them and using them. And with that, I would like to say that this was a, a prototype project. So we have developed some of these tools here that, that, that we think can be useful to the community. And now we'd like feedback from the users, from the community to know what else can be developed that can be useful to you guys. So please feel free to reach out to us. Uh, I have Ifad's details here. So please feel free to reach out to us and uh, <laughs> Let us know what it is that we can help you with, and we're looking, yeah, we're looking for any kind of input and uh, stick from your side. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you, Pranav, for your presentation. Also, call for apply to research goals. So uh, yes, yeah, that, that's great. Uh, Maybe just a comment that if you are very interested in philosophy, the full demo of the notebook can be developed in RSTAT at the same. Yes. Yes. Uh, because surf infrastructure, as you know, is a nation infrastructure, is easily accessible, so they provide funding for, for that purpose. And with the array stat, it is possible to, let's say, a ter terraform, so you can really uh, create your own uh, uh, computing environment very easily. So, uh, yeah. Uh, are there any questions regarding array stat? Okay. Thank you very much again for your presentation. So we